Good morning, Manxy ladies. Oh, actually, I should have asked you, what was the name of the lady that wanted to, you did have the name of the lady that wanted to profile the house. Mary? Was it Mary? Yeah. Uh, good morning, Mary. Mary, Mary, uh, quite contrary. This is how your garden grows, with lots and lots and lots and lots of houndstooth shoes. Uh, you wanted to see the difference between the houndstooth shoes. Uh, so, we've got, oh, actually, we were going to talk one. about Naya. Yes, yeah, sorry, no, you were going to do that. Um, we're going to get, uh, I've got a 37 that I've grabbed in the Von D, uh, which is a new uh, sole development. I'm just going to grab you down the shoe and things so we can have a little talk about it. Um, so this is your style Von D uh, with that beautiful houndstooth apron in through the front here. Uh, you've got lovely grow grain uh, shoelaces to go with this and you've got lots of texture. So um, you've got a beautiful shiny, um, uh, the high shine napper leather in through here. You've got the suede and then your houndstooth. Uh, the grow grain shoelaces I have used uh, because it's got that lovely kind of lineal texture in the shoelace. And then if you look at the sole, you'll see that the, the sole is completely side grooved, which is pretty, pretty gorgeous detailing in that sole. Not only that, this sole is 100% rubber. So look at what you can do with 100% rubber sole. Uh, nice and soft and squishy and flexible. Uh, also, I'm going to show you South Island ladies. I shouldn't just sort of talk only about the South Island ladies, but I know the South Island ladies that um, are part of the farming community hate soles with big lugs in them. So it has that new chunky sort of on-trend look, but you're not going to capture any of those stones walking back into the house and things like that with it. Uh, also, slightly square a toe. Uh, one last thing about the lacing, you've got hooks in the top here, so they are nice and quick and easy to actually throw on. Um, so you open up your shoe like that, and then you just uh, use the hooks to lace into that really, really quickly. Uh, so I'm a 37 in this. It's a damn good fit, actually, ladies. Um, it's a really, really beautiful fit. Mm. I love, love, love these. So mm. now we've got Annie and the other. So Mary, I hope you're watching. Annie's got her lovely, um, her lovely decade, decade style on. Thanks for that. Uh, so this has got that full luggy, luggy. So I'm just going to show you the difference in the soles, ladies. So a little bit flatter and more splayed, the Von D. Um, the decade style is a little bit chunky and a little bit more structured looking. Um, so let's have a look at the sole on that to start with. So you've got these um, front and back rubber lugs, again, really soft and comfortable on the foot. You've got a midsole coming in through here, giving that slightly Chinese guitar kind of um, feel to it. And then a lovely heavy ran, stitch ran around the outside of the sole. Do you want to show la the ladies the actual sole base of that if you turn around and place it out there yep so again it does have a few little lugs in through here but nothing that's going to catch too many stones which is quite good so let's have a look at it front on side on again you've got the lovely just plain black napper leather there three eyelet lace up and the hound's tooth in through the front there um i can just see i know the lady's going to talk about your shoes and behind me annie <laughs> yeah. um so i saw them this morning too when she came in so that's obviously our beautiful renzo um our renzo rope sold sneaker and annie is such a little charm with the laces she changes out her laces constantly just to give them a fresh new look so today she's coming with lilac um, which is super, super lovely, super lovely. So, uh, Mary, uh, does anyone want to help Mary with a decision on which um, which houndstooth style to go? I mean, obviously, when I... What's that? So, I couldn't get that on because of my instep. So. Right, it's okay, we're so going to talk about one, size. Yeah. Okay, we're going to talk about yeah, size. That I one had I to would. fully undo do the front all part. Of it to get in. I managed to get in, but I had to undo at all. At all. Okay. So um, what the girls are saying, and this is a really good feedback, um, if you have a higher instep, potentially look at the Von D style. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to point out a couple of things that the lacing on um, the decayed style comes further, book, further back, further up, the higher up the foot. So if you have a higher instep, it's going to be more challenging to get into that. Now this was designed more as a trouser shoe. So if you can imagine, you've got trousers going over there. All you're going to get is that super cool pop of attitude coming out the front. Trousers and knees, you're probably going to get a little bit of the lacing coming through on that. Mm. So we're just talking about the apron front on this being sort of longer up through the front. So if you've got a higher instep, it's slightly more challenging to get into. You will need to open up the lacing quite significantly to get into that. Mm. Uh, if you want something quick and easy to get into, the Von D is going to be a little, little less stressful to get into. Um, however, 
if you have a normal sort of lower uh, normal sort of instep height mm. you should be fine in that mm. other style like you are mm. uh, so just let's talk about um, your foot size Annie you are normally uh, between a 41 and a 40 and you're in a 41 yeah, and, and that fine. and the 41 is fitting good for yeah. you so you wouldn't go down a size no no okay so so Annie's about a 40 and a half mm. Yeah, um, and you're in the 41 in that. Okay, mm. fabulous. Yeah, yeah, that's really good feedback. Have we got any more questions about these? Is Mary watching? I'm not sure if Mary's watching. Has she not made any comments? No. Mary, Mary. Come on, Mary. I'll send it to her. Gaylene says love both, and Carol says love the Von D. Yep, mm. beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so I'm just going to, we're we'll just going to show you what Nay's wearing today um, because she's just. She comes into the office, like floats in like a little butterfly, uh, and she's wearing her lovely, which we've sold out of this colourway, but we do, we might have some other colours in it still, eh? Yeah, I was going to quickly uh, The lounger on. shirt, the lounger oh, no, shirt. The lounger shirt, yes. We've got cream. Uh, we've, we've got, got cream. We've got cream, cream? still, mm -hmm. yep, the yeah. cream. The crema, which is... And uh, white, yeah. potentially. Oh, and yes. white, yeah. 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 And yeah. white. We did have black, but maybe we that's did, gone but now. I think maybe it's gone. Mary yeah. says thank you for reviewing these. Oh, oh yay. yay, there she is. There Morning, Mary. Um, what was that, Annie? Just black and cream. Black oh, and cream. Mm. Black and crema in the mm. lounger shirt. Mm. Uh, and then um, nay has got her own little jeans on, which are kind of like a slight off-white yeah. colour. Mm -hmm. White, off-white. Off-white. Um, and then what I really loved mm. is that she has got, these are her own that she's just mm. been, she, you know what, ladies, I'm going to let you into a little secret. She comes in in these shoes, these ones that we're just about to show you, <laughs> and she wears them for like a few hours. And she, oh, I don't want to get them dirty. And then she puts them back in their little box again to keep them all sparkly and fresh looking. Okay. So no. these are Nay's nice favourites. And you're not allowed to have favourites, Nay. I do. I really, truly do. And I get lots of compliments from people all the time, like, oh, look at you. Of course, you'd have yeah, sparkly, sparkly souls. Shoes, yeah. <laughs> So these are your um, eye pop, golden eye pop, and we uh, these actually came in a few weeks ago. They've got a lovely little feature lace with them, um, and just notice they've also got a little feature golden eyelet at the top there. Um, and I think we've only got two sizes still available in this. They are out at retail. They have sold very, very well, and we are looking to repeat them. So if we did miss your size, uh, let us know and we'll make sure we order in this next mm -hmm. shipment. Um, I mean, there are delays with production, but they'll probably be back in about June. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, really good, really cool little sneaker um, so for you. Comfortable. Yeah. So look, comfortable. Yeah. They look. They do look nice. In yeah. real life, they're more sparkly on the solar in real life than probably what you can see on the camera there, ladies. So sparkly. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at yeah. that. Shimmer, shimmer. Yeah. You need that little thing that kind of... Oh, the, the <laughs> little things on it. <laughs> So we've got a couple more questions for different yeah. shoes. I'm going to start with this one, though. Yeah. What is the boot you're wearing on your other foot, Kush? Oh, yeah. oh there you go. Uh, product right. placement. Product <laughs> product. Actually, Alice said to me, I said, oh, what should we do today, lady, uh, for the ladies? And um, we're like, oh, we need to do Mary's, um, we need to do Mary's chat. Uh, and then uh, Alice said, I tell you what, Repertoire have done a very, very, very cool um, post on the Radical Boot. Uh, so this is what I've got on. It's the Radical Boot. So... I wanted to put it on with the skirt that I've got on today. So this was our, um, what do we call the skirt from winter, uh, from pop, summer? Pocket pop. pop, pop. It, po pocket pop skirt. So I think um, that, you know, obviously this is one of the, um, one of, actually, and, and the Princess Tea, which we've got mm. lots of Princess mm. Tea, because mm -hmm. I had to order a lot of them. Love mm -hmm. the thicker cotton in this. I can finally wear it now. It's getting a bit cooler in the mornings. Um, nice thick cotton on it. Um, so, yeah, so I wanted to show you this, that, this is like quite a strong trend coming through these big um, sort of full skirts, uh, cinched waistlines and full skirts that kind of end <laughs> at this length. Um, so a boot like this where it comes up to about that height, so I'll show you my full leg, um, that's my knee up here and so you can see that it's giving you that long, um, that long, you know, it's giving me enough length there so that I can wear it with a skirt and when I sit down in the skirt and maybe cross the leg over, I'm still getting that full coverage of the leg. So, you know, ladies, I have a thing about my leg. So I'm loving this boot because it's just, you know, it's actually, you know, fitting all of that area, which is super lovely. Uh, now, the other thing I wanted to show you about this boot, which everyone is oh, crushing on, sorry, I was going to get it, mm -hmm. I can't reach it. Uh, is this it has what I call angel touch lining and the reason is this it feels like you it feels like you it's like a really super soft velvet it almost feels like a teeny tiny little kitten fur or something 
likes that, but it's probably a really bad analogy for a really nice animals. fluffy dressing gown. Yeah, that's well. yeah, it that's is. It's I like think. that. Yeah, it's so so soft. Uh, and of course, you have all of this luxury kind of hugging your legs, which is super super lovely. Uh, for the ladies again in the South Island, this is just going to be so toasty roasty warm for those little mountain ladies um, that have to deal with some of that cold cold snowy weather. Um, so so beautiful. Uh, and of course, the other thing too is, and I did have to do this, ladies. Uh, you know, I have a thicker leg, so I actually you have to spend the time. You have to invest the time in the and fitting these boots on you. Don't give up. If you have a wider leg, a wider calf muscle like I do, um, don't give up on unlacing these to get these to the right fit on your leg. Um, so, I mean, you have that full adjustability. And just remember, once you put in that effort to sort that out, you just leave it and use it in and out of the side of them. And one of the ways that I like to adjust the fit on these boots a little bit more quickly is simply by actually holding each end of the... Um, the fronts of these quarters and just going like that and it'll very quickly start to listen oh my god i'm just crushing on what you just put on now mate i'm mm, such I thought we a magpie show the other color. yeah i'm going to show you something in a second ladies so yeah so just a little a fitting hack for these boots just keep wrangling that if you only need a minor adjustment if it needs to be more of a full adjustment like me you've got to actually spend the time just easing off those laces so that you can get it but it's worth it because the reward is that you can get a boot that is fitting your leg really nicely in all parts of it. Mm. Um, so this is the Radical Boot, it is new out. Um, if you need some more clothing inspiration on how to pair it back and what to wear it with, uh, go and check out Repertoire's site um, and or just pop into mm. local retailer mm -hmm. and try it because it is really worth it. And I know these are not going to hang around for no. long. We've already sold out of over half of our stock in these. Um, so that's pretty cool. Anyway. So, just... Stephanie, yeah. can you tell me the sizing of the Nelly shoe, please? Yeah. I'm a 40 in almost everything. Well, 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 well no, Steph. we already had it out, ready to roll. Yeah, Steph, we, uh, we got your feedback. Thank you for your patience. This is the Nelly shoe. Um, so this is your beautiful tab loafer. We're getting a lot of love for this loafer. Um, I think because it gives that kind of grungy type heavy look, mm. but it's actually not that heavy. Mm. It does have a finer toe shape on it. Um, and it also it doesn't have those big side lugs either on the sole. So it's got, we just show you the sole with there ladies. It's just got that mm. really nicely finished um, sole, a little bit of grip on it. It's a rubber sole. So you, you know what we say about rubber, nice and soft and comfortable underfoot. Yeah. Um, the black has all that gorgeous contrast. Mm, I really wanted to try the ivory, but we don't have a 41. Okay, left. now I'm going to go get Maybe. the ivory to oh, show yes, the ladies. Just... You talk about how it's fitting on your yeah. foot there, Nene. I've, I've put the 41 on, Steph, and I, yeah, I think it's a, it's a really lovely fit. I actually have had no trouble getting this on with my instep as well because I have a really, really high instep. Um, so it's really comfortable. I would say if you're a 40... I would go the 40 because if you went up, I think you'd get a bit of slipping at the back. So mm. this is a beautiful fit. It's extremely comfortable and it's very true to size on my longer foot, which is the true sort of 41, even 41 and a half really. So I would definitely stick to a 40. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really. And that... That's your, that's your other colorway. That's your other colorway. And um, mm -hmm. I just was listening to Nathie and she's absolutely right. Um, just remembering with these loafers, ladies, you do need to get them firm because they are a slip-on shoe and you don't want to start slipping out of the back in them if they're too loose. Yeah. So um, in, all, in all honesty, give them a day of feeling firm and they should settle down into your foot not quite nicely yeah. um, and be, yeah. become nice and comfortable on. Yeah. So, um, so go Steph, the 40. Go yeah, the Steph, 40. I hope that's helped you. I hope that's helped you. Um, so, yeah, I just want to, we wanted to show you. Look at what, I mean, this is also the ultimate shoe with what you're wearing mm -hmm. today. It looks so fantastic. So, this is the Von D. Um, so, we just showed you the hound's tooth. I'm going to slip into shot there in the hound's tooth. And then Nay has got the beautiful ivory, um, ivory version of it on. So, you will see just a hint of crocodile emboss yep. in there. Um, we can't talk about our crocodile and boss too much on Facebook and, and yeah. Instagram because it gets pulled down all the time <laughs> because <laughs> they think that we're trading crocodiles, but we're not. Um, it is just an embossed print over the top of the leather, which gives it that just that nice little texture so it just doesn't look plain. Yeah, um, no can, trouble getting in. 
to no these. trouble to no, get it in and off really that and off. that's good a lovely little um gunmetal eyelet in through here so it's nice and easy to speed lace those with your hooks again mm. you could change out your laces and have a play with those laces later on in mm -hmm. the season if mm. you wanted to black laces you could cool. put a black in there and get a nice contrast good idea ella yeah so um yeah so that is the other colorway and that looks pretty gorgeous oh, yeah i'm wearing a 41 God, those, those trousers are good with everything oh, yeah, I, I, yeah. Oh, you're wearing a 41, so you go in between a 41 and a yeah, 42. Yeah, I'm wearing a 41, and I think that if you were on the longer side of a 41, I know we have some ladies that are kind of, I'm going to say a 41 and a half, I would probably go to a, a 42. And that, yeah. if you were, yeah. if you were, really, yeah, really I, extra, I would stick to a 41, but I, but I think if you were the longer side of a 41, my toe's right at mm -hmm. sort of there, so yeah. I would go up, and you'd feel absolutely fine. Like yeah. A, yeah. It oh, they look, be good. Too big. Mm. Yeah. look so good. Yeah, look so good. Right, have we got any more questions here? We do, we do. Oh. Um, Angela would love to see the bright pink boots on. If not today, another day. I'm wondering if that is these. Yeah. Yep, we can do that tomorrow. Yep. 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 Angela, you able to come in tomorrow? Hope so. Hope so. Will the loafers with the chains be restocked? I watched the live the other day and yeah. loved them and looked at the 39 was all sold out. Yeah, I'm so, so sorry about that. Now, there are only two other retailers in the country with that loafer. Supermunx and Kelly. Supermunx in Greytown, uh, Levin and Paraparaumu and Kelly's in Palmerston North. Um, you'll have to phone Kelly's. So Kelly's in Palmerston North. Um, their, their online store's a little bit hit and miss in terms of actually getting confirmation of the size being in stock. So we would recommend to phone Kelly's directly. Um, talk to Lee, uh, Lou, Louise or um, Nisha there. Uh, or and or um, give the girls at Supermix a buzz or hop online and grab your pair from Supermix. But uh, we are going to try and repeat Style Fortune, um, which is that loafer from <coughs> China. Um, we we do know that if we are able to repeat it, uh, that it won't be down until around about June, just because of all of the delays up there. They're, they're locked in. They've got a zero tolerance for. Um, COVID up there, so they're just shutting down everything right now at the moment to try and eradicate it. So um, we're just having a bit of like trouble with uh, in terms of not yeah in terms of you know them producing at the moment. But I'm sure that they they will um, sort it out and get back on on track again. Uh, yeah, so just yeah try those retailers first. Uh, if not, please let us know if you do want a pair just to make sure that we've got your sizes covered. Uh, and then just be mindful that it's not going to be until maybe June that we can get them actually down for you from, from China. Yeah, super cool. Anyway, busy morning, ladies. Uh, thank you for all your chats this morning. Uh, Mary, Steph, hope we've helped you, and we will definitely help the other lady about the pinky boots um, tomorrow if we can. And, yeah, I've got to get on and sort my shoes yeah. out for uh, ordering next summer with China. Unbelievable, I know. Yeah. Uh, take care, ladies. We'll catch up with you tomorrow. Bye.